In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to export Webflow code and host it online. If you find this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing and let's get right into it. The first thing we need to go ahead and do is make sure we're logged into the account that has the website on. And then we want to go ahead and find the website we want to export. So in this example here, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click on the open designer button. So go ahead and open your website and you'll have to wait a few seconds for it to go ahead and load. Now there may be numerous reasons you want to go ahead and host this somewhere else. Maybe the pricing on Webflow is too expensive or maybe you need some other features they do not have. So what we can do from here is in the top right hand side of our site, you're going to see a button up here like this. So you want to go ahead and click on it. It says export code. This is going to give you your code in a few different formats. You have HTML, CSS, JS and all the assets on the website. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go ahead and actually upgrade your plan. So you can see upgrade your workplace uh, workspace plan to export this site. So we have to go ahead, go on here and to actually export it, we have to upgrade the plan. Um, I think it's this one here that you need, the core one. And this is a plan on your Webflow, not just on the site itself. But basically what you can do from here, once you've gone ahead and you've upgraded your plan, click on this, then there'll be a button here and it'll export your code and it'll give you all of the assets and everything you need in this um, folder so that you can go ahead and upload it to your site hosting. Now, at this point, there's many different ways you can go ahead and actually host this site. The one I would recommend is tiny.host, T-I-I-N-Y.host. And TinyHost allows you to host um, the simplest way to host and share your web project. So you can go ahead. What we can do is we can upload the files here. We can either drag the folder or a HTML one. If you get a folder from here, I'd recommend giving that here just to it won't mess up all the features. So you can go ahead and you can import it into here, upload, customize, and you can go ahead and publish it just like that. And it's really as simple as that to go ahead and do. There's other options you can use for this, of course. If you want to upload it to another hosting provider, such as Bluehost, then that's an option you can actually do. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you do it. And it's completely fine and legal and all that kind of stuff to do. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to go down below and like and subscribe. Comment down below that helped. And I'll see you in the next one.